welcome to Northern Peru. So while Chile may be well endowed in the giant copper mines of the world, Peru has a more golden flavor to its hillside. Scattered along the hillsides here, at elevations over 3,000 meters above sea level, are some of the largest gold deposits in the world, well definitely in South America. So we're going to go visit some of these large high sulfidation gold deposits in Peru, um, such as the Anacocha, La Sanja, and Tantahuate. So this is all in this northern Calamarca region. So the gold deposits here are classified as high sulfidation epithermal gold deposits. So this basically means it's a form of classification for gold deposits, where this gold deposit is formed by is this interaction of hot fluids with the surrounding country rock. But also those fluids had certain parameters like they were very acidic and they were oxidized. They deposit the gold depth and then they alter the rocks around it. So in the hillsides here in Peru we have a lot of this quartz or really hard alteration that's sort of an expression of these gold that's been deposited beneath. So why exactly are the gold deposits here? Well, it's a variety of factors, usually due with the like favorable structural setting and the rock types that the, the hot fluids kind of percolated through. Counting for all those, it makes this region really special in Peru. Hola, I'm here at Combre de Mayo, which is the stone forest. These are volcanic rocks where they're about Cretaceous in age and they form these beautiful pillars in the Peruvian countryside just north of Cajamarca in the highlands. So carved into the rocks are petroglyphs and this is actually a map of all the canals that make up the landscape here. It's from the original Camaraca culture, which is over 2,000 years old. But yeah, it's really neat um, that engineering created these channel systems into the volcanic rocks around here.